He got asshole. Y'all know that over the years. The reason why I always continue to stand by D no matter what he put me through is because it was good qualities that he had that was really pivotal. Those qualities were support. He do things, you know, he a little misguided because he come from a fucked up family. I'm not justifying him because at the end of the day, you're a grown fucking man. You know better, right? Correct. But Correct. it's a lot of things y'all don't see behind closed doors. Like, the dude is ultimately support, supportive. And with me having issues of, of mental illness and shit like that, it's, it's, an, it's important we have support. And he offered the ultimate support in many ways. That's why, you know, people was like, why? Why'd you mess with him? I always put the bad out. <laughs> and that's why I created this picture of somebody that's a monster because of the fuck shit he did. But I did a lot of fuck shit as well. You know, it went both ways. I did some, I can be very vindictive and devious. I have another side. <laughs> but his support system is amazing. Um, he got me through something tremendously terrifying recently that I wouldn't have been able to get through. I've been able to overcome a lot in my life because of his support. You know what I mean? And that's that's pivotal, man. You got to have support. If you don't got support in this world, man, it, it's going to be hard. This one's going to be a hard fight. And, um, Not only is it just going to be a hard fight. That's what makes him viable. That's what makes him viable. Not only is it going to be a hard fight, but it's also like it's going to be very paralyzing when you don't have that support yeah. because you're paralyzed like especially when you involve mental illness the thing about mental illness is that you feel alone all of the time yeah, and sometimes dark, it's very hard to break down dark spot the spots of what's making you feel this way some people think suicidal some people think alcohol some people think is illness is illness there's no way to put it why do you think people don't want to stand by mentally ill people is well, I'm gonna only come up with a couple of reasons, but the first reason I'm gonna go with is that they see it as weak. What else? They the second part I was they see it as is weird. What why else? this person looks like that. Third reason would probably be strange. Not even no, it's strange. Is this normal? Abnormal. Yeah. Is this it, normal? For for me, I think one of the main things is it freaks them the fuck out. Seriously, like it's fucking scary. Because when you hear about situations that people go through, people are like, mm, like I don't want to hear that, bro. I'm good. Because people feel like it's going to latch onto them. You know what I mean? I don't, not technically, but I just think it's a mental thing where they just like, ooh, I get bugged out by it. You know what I mean? And I think that it's people's perception of mental illness is bad, too, because, um, you know, when you think of mental illness, you think of, like, your typical mental illness that's on TV all the time, like with, uh, schizophrenia and personality disorders and um, it's not always like that extreme mental illness but they just feel like these people are not trustworthy like they're not in that right state of mind and another thing that i hate doing is when people associate mental illness with wicked that's a, it's a difference mm -hmm. like jeffrey D dimers or whatever he was raping all them girls and killing all them women back in there or uh uh what's his name ted bundy was it T ted bundy don't get me confused. But... Sutton Bundy, they was just wicked people. And people think mentally ill is the same as a wicked person. No, you got some people that's mentally ill mean when you are, you're mentally compromised and you can't do a lot. It don't mean that you just wicked and do fucked up shit. Those but people just fucked up. At the same up. time, let's just leave it on this note. If you are have a person that's mentally ill or you're dealing with some family members or some folks that you probably see every day, take the time to understand you're not going to understand mm. everything, but take the time to get an understanding of where it is in their world. Because, like I said, as many ways, as many illnesses of every level. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Bipolar, schizophrenic, you know what I mean? Memory loss. OCD, it's all yep. kinds. But if you have that person that's willing to sit and listen and pay attention to detail of what's making them that way. Like, this is what I have to dealt with this man for the last... We've been known each other since 20, 2012, and that's a long time. So at this point, it's like I finally came to grips this year to understand that I'm not going to get that same J that y'all see and who the person I used to see a long time ago. I had to come to grips to understand, to not only accept it, but make him accept it too. Because what he's referring to is the fact that my mental illness got worse over the years. I had just regular social anxiety, and now I have more like an OCD you know what I mean? Like negative thoughts and people that know of that, it's, it's really brutal. You know, so I wasn't quite the same Jay that he knew.
for years. I, I'm a little different now. I may come off a little weird. Sometimes I may just go out in space because thoughts are running through my head and I can't stop them. I can't even focus, talk, move, wash up, eat, nothing. Because I'm like, imagine a thousand thoughts going through your head. My fear was, what if he don't want to fuck with me no more? What if he don't accept me because I'm not the old J? What if he look at me and be like, oh, nigga, where? This is the buddy? duration of three years. Like I said, this, That's, this been going on since three, 19, 20, maybe. Since 2017, the year of the Eagles. Oh, yeah, that was, that was. Yeah, but it's got, it's got since it's been. It's progressed. And this it's, year, it's progressed. 2020. It's yeah. progressed. Like, and we just, I explained to him what it was, and he, it may be uncomfortable for him, because I don't know what's really going on in his mind. I can only go on what he showed me, but he's tried to be. Accepting of it, and as he said earlier, it's all about understanding, trying to understand people with mental illnesses. Because when you understand them, you know how to better deal with them and navigate and know what navigate, their weaknesses are. Navigate to their reality. Yeah. Navigate to their reality, whereas though it could be a part of your, not necessarily a part of your reality, but in a way of if this you're is your friend, you're educating you're, you're, they're educating you and you educating them. So you because know, like the same things. We're, we're two completely different people. He's not healthy. I'm considered healthy. So it's ways that I have to navigate around his life to be, be where it makes sense for him. And right. they can make sense for me because I'm learning. I'm in the learning curve of understanding what mental illness is. And what mine in particular is. Yeah, because it's all um, phases, like I said in the beginning. It's a really different kind. It's not like even a person that has the same illness, it affects them different. Two people with OCD is going to affect that person but totally different. We gotta, well, we gonna get to this pretty soon, but we just want to bring this to a close. But what's your final thoughts? My final thoughts is just that support is pivotal. It's pivotal, and if you truly love the person, you're going to try to understand them. I think also what's important that Dante did that I really appreciate is that he separated me from my anxiety. He don't look at it like. He don't blame me for it or punish me for it. He looks at it like, it's Jay. And then we always refer to my other person as Aaron when I'm like nervous or social anxiety or I'm stuck with thoughts in my head and I'm not really thinking. I'm like, huh? Distracted. He understands it's two different people. And when he understands that, he know, okay. He not right. So now I have to take different steps. You I know what take, I can do, what I can't do. You got to take the better with the sweet, you know but what I close mean? it. You got to take the better with the sweet, but you also, like I said, remember the memories that you do have of them being completely healthy. You hold on to those, and then most importantly, you bring them back to those moments prematurely. Not too fast, because you don't want to overload them with stuff. But you want to bring them things prematurely, like taking them to visits, showing them the things that made it more, vo things that had them more happier and, and bring it when they childhood so you can bring it forth to their future. Yeah. This is very important, y'all. So, But under, understanding and listening and asking questions can help you better, you know, do what's best for the, your mentally ill friend, family, brother, sister, mama, daddy, whatever understanding if you don't have understanding of anything in life you're going to be ignorant to it you know what i mean like if you understand it or bias or bias you know you 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 going to you going to know how to work it it's like driving a car the more you understand about cars the more you know what the do's are and the don'ts are if you don't know how to function a car you may do something that's going to harm your car or damage your car so it's the same thing with mental illness you just got to know how that person is what their triggers are d um, he would always say back in the day, like, I don't want to go to the Eagles game with you because you might be a little nervous with your social anxiety. I don't really have that issue now too much. You know what I mean? But because he understands how my anxiety work, he was able to avoid putting me in a situation that may compromise me and damage our relationship and friendship. And making you know him saying? feel bad because and one thing about me, mental illness and OCD is that constant thought of someone telling you that you ain't shit over and over and, or over, and the, the, over again. Or the fear of failing. Or failure to your family, yeah. or failure Our to yourself. Our biggest fear is, oh, I look weird. What if he judged me, or what if she judged me, or what if she don't want to be my friend anymore? What if he don't want to be my friend anymore? You need that. They need loyalty and ultimate support, man. And if you don't have that, they going to go down where it's a really dark, lonely place. It's one thing about mental illness, it ain't like a job or a career or a marriage or relationship where you can share it with everybody. Yo, Dante, I got a uh, marriage situation with my girl. We... He can relate to that. Everybody can relate to that. 
But telling them you got thoughts running through your head, who the fuck I understand that? You know what I mean? So when you have somebody that is supportive, it makes a difference. And for that, I'm thankful, you know, for him for that. Difference. I'm really thankful for him for that. You know what I mean? Um, that's a good quality he has, despite all the bad ones that y'all know about. Oh. Um, but um, anyway, we're going to bring the video to a close. It's all about support, guys. Support, 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 support and understanding. Support and understanding. People who are mentally ill, it make a tremendous difference. As I said recently, I'm bringing it to a close. I was able to do some things I never thought I would be able to do because of support and understanding. I was afraid to even see him for a very long time because I didn't think that he was going to understand me. But we're going to get to that shit in another video because we're going to talk about that a little bit. But in the meantime... Pretty boy gotta go somewhere. Love y'all. Later.